Hey guys. Hello. <laughs> I just want to say, first of all, thank you so much for all the questions that you've given us both. They were all really good. This is our couples Q&A video. Yes. And I hope you guys all enjoy it. Let's get this thing underway. Right, first question. How did you first meet one another? Should I answer? Oh, this one, yeah. um, how we first met. So, this was, this was probably over a year ago now. I was like going through Instagram and it was when Digby had first joined Maiden Chelsea and he just started dating Liv and I hadn't met him before yet so I went on like his Instagram just to like give him a bit of a stalk and there was a photo <laughs> of him with Melissa and I was like oh my god I was like who is that girl I was like she's so hot like why are you looking at that? <laughs> yeah, carry on. So I was like oh my god she's so hot and I didn't usually do the, these sort of things, but I, I DM'd her, didn't I? Mm hmm I slid into those Which DMs. Which I thought he does to every single girl possible. Which I didn't. So yeah, I slid into those DMs, was just like, hey, what's up? We had a little bit of like, a little bit of a conversation. Yeah. And then, Melissa would just like message me non-stop. I had so many DMs from her on my phone, they were like, Every single day, I was like, hey, Harry, how are you? Hey, Harry, when are we meeting Assistance you? Assistance is key. <laughs> no, that's not what happened. <laughs> that's not, no, that's not what happened. So we had a bit of, like, back and forth conversation. And then I think I asked Melissa a question and she just ignored me. She just completely ignored me. Why did you ignore me? Well, because I just had my fun now. It was, like, quite funny. Like, Harry Brown slid into my DM and was like, great. So it was just quite jokes. <laughs> and I was like, I'm over it now. I'm not going to reply. <laughs> yeah, so... After that, I was like, oh, I was like, okay, so I, I left it for a little bit, and then I, I met a friend of Melissa's, and... Dick B's younger sister. Yeah, and she reported back to Melissa, being like, Harry's actually really nice, like, you should go on a date with him, sort of thing. And lo and behold, a couple of days after that, Melissa then messaged me, didn't you? That um, couldn't be more incorrect, actually. Yeah, you messaged no, me. No, you messaged me saying, oh, I met your um, best friend today. Okay. And I read it and didn't reply. <laughs> two months after that, two months of my friend persuading me, I then messaged you. Okay, yeah, I then, okay, yeah, that is, and that I, is true. A couple of days, she messaged me, lo and behold, no, no. <laughs> <laughs> okay, yeah, so about two months down the line, Melissa then went out of her way and messaged me. Yeah. And I was like, we should go on a date. And I'd been like wanting to take this girl on a date for so long. I don't know and why. Just from an Instagram picture. You're so funny. <laughs> you just look That's super just cute, such a so... boy thing to do. Really? Yeah. Uh -huh. Well, yeah, I was like desperate to take this one on a date. And yeah, haven't looked back ever since. Haven't looked back. Cute. Right. Okay. Should I ask the next one? Yeah, you ask the next one. This is The, the next question is kind of like a follow on from oh, the first yeah, question. No, you're right. So it's quite good. What was your first date like? I'll let you answer this one. What was our, our first, first date, date like? It was kind of a bit of a shambles at the beginning because the plans <laughs> the plans weren't how you wanted them to be oh. were they oh okay wait I'll, I'll get the first yeah. bit out of the way so i had originally booked to take melissa for dinner at a restaurant called monkey house in mayfair um but the evening that i booked it there was like a weird fake terrorist attack in um london on oxford street and so it all got closed yeah so all, all the roads were closed off in mayfair um so as it was like last minute i cannot let this ruin our oh, no, night. I was like, I cannot let this ruin like our first date. I was like, I have to do something, I have to do something quick. So I called up um, the Bluebird and one of the guys uh -huh. knows <laughs> one of the guys knows me there quite well. I was like, mate, I know it's so last minute on a Friday night, but can you do me a table for two? And he was like, Yeah, no problem. But yeah, anyway, that's that yes. was how was our first date? Well, for me, trying to figure out whether I should eat or not was really unclear because we were like, <laughs> Yeah, eight o'clock, we'll meet at eight o'clock at this place and I was like, Okay. But he, he didn't say for dinner, and he said, I'll take you out for a drink. So I was like, okay, well, then it's just drinks. So I was like, but what if he expects us to eat? So I, was so like, I didn't really I, I know what to do dinner. about... Like, yeah, which I would have done as well. But yeah. because you were like, I'll take you out for a drink, and meet you at eight, I was like, okay, he definitely doesn't mean dinner. I definitely meant dinner. But I didn't know that, and I didn't want to seem weird and ask you, like, oh, was it dinner? So anyway, we got yeah. there, and um, Harry had ordered wine. It was super nice. And then Harry was like, so you hungry? And I was like, mm, not really, because you didn't tell me what you're doing. <laughs> I, so I just you presumed, like, tip, like offering to take a girl out, I presumed that she would have known that it was going to yeah, be dinner. Yeah, I know. I just, but anyway, I wasn't sure. Melissa didn't have anything to eat. I ate. Um, we had a few drinks. It was a really nice evening, wasn't it? Yeah, yeah it was really fun. We had a lot to drink, though. We did have quite a bit to drink. And then after we had dinner, we went out to a club. 
Which, which is, is very really weird for a first date. I think that's not really a first date sort of vibe. I wasn't expecting that, but we had we had like a few drinks at dinner, and I was like, "Do you want to go out?" And Melissa was like, "I was yeah. really keen for it." Weirdly, Melissa was like super keen for it, so I was like, "Okay, I've got to like do something." You know now. why? You know why? Because I'm not really a believer in like in having like a boy stay over on the first date or the first couple of dates. Like, it's just not the done thing to, like for me. But I wanted to spend more time with you, and the only way I could do that was if we like went out. Because by the That's time we finished answer. finished eating, it was like really late and it was sort of like okay well either we go home mm. or we go out and I was like no I want to spend time and then time. yeah and then we went to the club and the club. I was like oh I was like this girl is literally so freaking hot I was like she's the best her personality is amazing I was like she was making me laugh and that's like a major thing we got on like so easy. well okay. and it was so yeah it was so easy and oh cute little fun fact you tell me he loved me in the taxi on the way to the club because he was so drunk <laughs> <laughs> you did. On our first date, we also had our first kiss as well. You know when you instantly feel that connection with someone when you just know that you really like them? I don't know if you're like me, but I literally fell for Melissa like that. I was like, oh my God. No, I'm the same. So either I, you know when people date people and they're like, oh, I don't really know how I feel. I need to see how <clears> it goes. I'm like, no, either I'm like, uh, or I'm like, yes. Yeah. Straight That's away. like the same as me. Within a couple and of minutes, I can tell. I was just like, oh my God, this is like. This is it. This is it. And for like the whole night after I first saw her, I was like, I really, really want to kiss her. I was like, I really, really want to. And I'm glad that you felt the same way. Very fresh, I love you. Yeah. So that was our first date. The second date was the next day. Third date was the day after that. And so on. We had like loads of consecutive dates after the first date. So yeah, it was good. Next question. Okay. Do you agree on everything? No. Do we not? No. <laughs> Obviously we don't. I'd say that I'm more compromising than you. Yeah. Definitely. That's very true. I'm pretty like, I'd say I was very, very relaxed and very easy going. Yeah. Sometimes this one has a bit of a freak out over silly <laughs> stuff. She'll be like unloading the dishwasher and then just like have a complete meltdown because a fork dropped on the floor. Okay, that's an exaggeration. Sometimes but, I just get like frustration build up and I'll just go like, oh my God, but yeah. it's not at you. It's like a thing. Wait, that this isn't even answering the question. It was, do you agree on everything? So... No, we, we agree on everything in that's important. But anything that's small and stupid, like house stuff. Like basically oh, we have no, a jewelry no, box no. on the side and Harry thinks it should go that way around. So we, we have, have a slight disagreement on the way that like furniture is in the flat. So if there's something, like very, very recently, um, <laughs> I bought a globe. I was like, I really want to get a globe for the flat. I was like, I think it's such a cool look. Like I got a really nice one and I put it on our chest of drawers in the bedroom. And after I put it there, five minutes later, I came back and Melissa had moved it. And I was like, why, why no, are you moving that? Boat. Yeah, you like moved, you were just like changing things around. No, sorry. As you, as you can see, we do disagree on some things. Yeah. We also have a disagreement sometimes on whether we close the curtains all the way at night. Oh or even yeah, so this is the biggest disagreement. I, I, so every evening, okay, I'm quite a light sleeper. Melissa can sleep anywhere. She's one of those people that can sleep on a plane whilst it's taking off. It's bizarre, like I don't get yeah. it. I pretty much have to sleep with all the curtains closed so there's like no light whatsoever. Otherwise I find it hard to get to sleep. Whereas Melissa's the opposite. She likes to have like, light coming in whilst you sleep. I no, don't get that. It's weird. I just like, if the room's completely pitch black in the morning <clears> and the alarm goes off, I find it really difficult to wake up. Whereas if there's some natural light coming in when I open my eyes, just a bit, not an unreasonable amount. Yeah, but that doesn't affect you going to sleep. To whereas to me, it affects me going to sleep. We live next to Battersea Power Station and there's loads of like building work and cranes and everything and they've all got like big lights on them and stuff. So I don't know, what do you guys think? What do and you I'm like, like to do? can't we just leave the curtains open this much? Do you prefer sleeping with like no light whatsoever or do you have to have the curtains open? Like, You're making it sound like I have the curtains <laughs> fully open, I don't. We've gone on about this way too and much And sometimes now. Harry actually falls asleep with the curtains slightly open, so I kind of think he's lying about <laughs> that. He can't sleep unless the curtains are shut. <laughs> we do disagree on some things. Next question. Okay. What's the one thing that annoys you the most about one another? Okay. Oh, no, this no, no. is kind of like a follow You on. answer it to what you think that annoys me about you. Okay, so I'm going to say what what I think it is that annoys you the most about me. Yeah. Okay. yeah, yeah. I think the one thing that annoys Melissa the most about me is... Oh, it could be a couple of things. Okay, <laughs> I think it's either when I when I shave in the bathroom, I don't clear up all the little hairs properly. Oh, that, that doesn't bug me that much. Oh. oh. It's like a bit annoying, but it's not like... Okay, what else is there? Um... There's one thing that really annoys me. 
really annoys you. And I always get really shocky with you about it, and then you get shocky with me. Oh, get shocky with you. oh, I know what I know what it is. <laughs> it's after I've had a shower. Oh no! It's and not. I have no. No. Oh. What is it then? Okay, it's when we're getting ready to leave for somewhere, and I always nearly always leave enough time to go and I don't really like being late because especially if we're late to work because then obviously you get in trouble and you're letting people down and Harry always takes so long because he stays in bed until the very last minute and he's like oh I'll take five minutes in the shower no 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 15 minute shower and he has to blow dry oh. his hair and then we're about to leave and I'm like right the Uber's outside I've just got to iron my t-shirt and I'm like seriously Okay, yeah. Seriously. We're not late people. This is what he I'm says, we're person. not late people, but we're, we're half an hour late to like a lot of things. No, we're not, Melissa. Okay, I'll hold my hands up. Sometimes I do leave it right to the last moment, and then I Because it's I so nice and cosy in bed, and you're like, no, I just don't want to get out, and I'm like, I feel you. Yeah, I'm going to make a change with that then. I'm sorry. Now you have to guess. I don't know. What do you think annoys me most about you? Um, okay, I know what it is. Come on. When I go like this, I go like, ah! <sighs> I'm like, ah, no, and something, and you're like, oh my god, Melissa, that really annoys me, please, I don't know. That is really annoying, but I don't think it is that. I don't actually know what it is that annoys me. No, I think it's that you get really angry when I do that. Um, okay, it's sort of that. <laughs> Melissa will get so angry, she'll literally go from zero to a hundred in a <laughs> space of less than a second over yeah. the most smallest thing. Like, It's never at you. It's at something. It's sometimes it is. Say if like Melissa's unloading the dishwasher and presses start, but it won't start, she'll just lose her absolute... <laughs> yeah, but that's Like, funny. lose it. And I'm like, what on earth? You act as if someone's just taken away all your Christmas presents at Christmas <laughs> and you're a five-year-old. You just throw everything out of the... Like, you go mint, like, you lose it. I just get frustrated with things. It's normally with things where I have to, like, turn the lid or, like, the Nutribullet the other day. Oh my wasn't god. wasn't working and I wasn't strong enough this to fix was. it. And I just tried and tried and tried and tried. And it just wouldn't work. So instead of asking me, being like, oh Harry, can you just help with this? Like a normal person would I think in like I a did normal tone. I heard I heard like a bit of banging and then I heard <laughs> this like mental noise that Melissa makes. <laughs> and then she was just like like loads of swear words and then I was just like, what on earth has just happened? She's like the smallest, cutest little girl ever, but then sometimes just loses it. Yeah, but I never nothing. do that to you. Sometimes. I try to keep that but I don't, head on your shoulders. I don't yeah? do it to you. You don't do it to me that often. No, you don't. You don't do it to me. It's just a random stuff. Okay, next question. What's your favourite thing about one another and why? You can go first. What's your favourite thing about me? Just how kind you are. How kind I am? Yeah. You're just That's so... Like the, the top thing. ...kind and so nice. And I know that's like a boring thing to say, oh, someone's so nice, <laughs> but he's actually the nicest person I have ever met in my life and so calm and so oh. accommodating. You are just so nice. Thanks, baby. Is it like easy going? Thank you. <laughs> and you're super sweet. You are very sweet. That's like a million things. Mm. Everyone says that you're like so, so, so lovely and very mm. polite and just very grounded. Is that the right word? Yeah. And his head's screwed on very straight. Yeah. Thank you. <laughs> you are. And that's your turn. What's your favourite thing about me? My, there's so many. I think... First thing that comes to mind. Okay, the first thing that comes to mind is that you always put other other people's or like you always put my feelings about something before anything else. You're do very, I? Yeah, you're like you're so you're super considerate. If we're like planning to do something and there's something that could potentially affect your plans, but it's for me or something, you would let your plans get ruined over. Really? When does that happen? You just are like you're just you're just really considerate and you're. You put other people's needs before your own, I think. That's probably one of the best qualities to have because you always put, well, Melissa always puts other people's needs before her own, which I think is, yeah, it's admiring. No, I think I'm just really thoughtful. You're so lovely. Thank you. And it means a lot. Thanks. Oh. Next question. This one's quite fun. What's your favorite thing to watch on TV as a couple? Oh, it depends, but at the moment it's friends. It's like our go-to, like, we don't watch TV that often, to be honest. But when we do, it's normally before we go to bed. Just having and, it on in the background. Yeah, we'll just stick on Netflix and just put friends on and just have it 
play through. And it's always just so funny. Like, we still laugh so hard at mm. it. Like, even though we've seen the episode so many times. I, th I think I've watched every single episode, like, ten times. Mm. It's, but it's still so good. I think it's probably the best TV show that's ever been made. I agree. Yeah. I totally that's agree. Good. I love it. But yeah, Friends is our go-to. Friends. It? Yeah. Friends. Friends. Okay, next question. Question. Where, where has been the best place you have travelled together and why? Shall I go first and then you say what yours is? Yeah. I know you're going to say. So, my favourite place that we've travelled to together has been Val Is that yours as well? Yeah. yeah. It's just, skiing is awesome. It's so much fun. Yeah. And it's just a really magical place because Melissa and I went there last December after yeah. we first like got together so it was like our first holiday away and it was a very like quick holiday after we first got together as well it was and it was just so nice so I feel every time that we go back to Val d'Isere it's just like really special for us yeah yeah it's, it's really good, good memories yeah good it's memories. really good memories and it's just good fun as well like mm. it's just a lot of fun stuff to do there that's my favorite place it's amazing is that your favourite place? Yeah, it's my favourite place, yeah. yeah. We like Valdez Air as our question. holiday destination. What's your favourite memory that you have together since being a couple? I would say going to Valdez Air. It was just after Melissa's birthday. It was just before Christmas. It's just after, it was just after we'd like got together. And it was just a really magical time. And whenever it snows, it's like a, it feels magical anyway. Yeah. So just being there was just... Yeah, it was lovely. It's like, oh, it's our special place and I can't wait to go back this year. Yeah, that, yeah, mm. same. I'm so excited. Right, this is probably a, a question that we get asked the whole time and I had so many comments, so many DMs about this. It is, how hard is it maintaining your relationship on a reality TV show? And the simple answer to that is, it is quite tricky. When you're, when you film about things that are like personal or film about things that you would only sort of want to speak about with your partner and it's getting broadcast to the whole nation. It's, yeah, it's, something that it's a very hard thing. It's a very hard thing to, yeah. to do. A lot of your, your friends get involved in, in your relationship and a lot of your friends sort of have opinions on things that otherwise wouldn't be voiced, but, mm. but they are and you hear about them and, it, and sometimes it isn't nice. Sometimes it's really good. And it's something that we love and really enjoy taking part in and it's amazing fun. It's, it's a strange concept, but it's something that... You just get used to it. Yeah, you get used to, and we really enjoy doing it. Yeah, I mean, we're okay, so that's the main thing. <laughs> we're all good, and we're happy, and that's the main thing. And I think for as long as we're good and, and happy and enjoy doing what we're doing, we'll continue doing Made in Chelsea. Yeah. Yeah. This is almost like a little bit of a follow-on from uh, yeah. the last question. Does Melissa find it hard to trust you with your past reputation? I also get a lot of these questions as well about like my past reputation and Melissa's an idiot for trusting you and all of those things. But yeah, like what? I d I don't understand. I don't really get where the like past reputation has come from. Um, in the past, there's only been one person that I I treated quite badly, and I really regret that. And I was younger than I am now, and I was a bit stupid. Just behaved and like an idiot. I, yeah, I just behaved like an idiot. And Always it, do at some point. Yeah, and I'm sure a lot of guys can relate to this. At the time, I, was, I wasn't really that into the, the person that I was seeing. And yeah, I, just, I treated them a bit badly and I feel really bad for that. And I am massively sorry. Harry's always been so, so amazing and nice to me throughout our whole relationship. So there's no reason for me not to trust him. Just from watching like... I guess, or like hearing you being not very nice to other girls that you didn't like in the past. It's not the same thing because mm. we're in a relationship yeah, and we love one another. When you were seeing somebody else that they liked you way more than you liked them, obviously it's going to be a different scenario. Yeah, and I'm sure everyone can can relate to that, hopefully. No, even I can, but it's um, just... Yeah, I'm sure everyone's yeah. everyone has been in a position where they don't like the person they're with as much the, as the other person likes them. and you end up, I don't know, I, I get a little bit awkward in those situations and I sort of do things to sort of mess up so the other person sort of breaks it, breaks it off with me and I was kind of like that in the past with, with someone. 
so difficult. And yeah, it's. I'm so sorry for acting that way, but I'm sure a lot of guys do that. But it's completely different with Melissa. Like I, I fell in love with her literally instantly, and I'd like to think that I do treat you yeah, really you well. Yeah, you do. So there's no reason for me not to trust you. Yeah. I think this would be a good opportunity as well because a lot of the time on social media, I'd like to address the odd person commenting being like, oh, Melissa's an idiot being with you. Oh, Harry, you're oh, such yeah, a I dick. Harry, too, yeah. you're this and that. And it's like, what? <laughs> like, no, it just doesn't matter. It's just it's No, just now. I the, the, positive, the positive comments that we get on social media far, far outweigh the negative ones. Yeah. But I just, I just would like to address the, the people that are being negative and just say that we are extremely happy in, in our yeah. relationship. And it's okay, I'm not being forced. <laughs> like some people are like, oh my God, she's, she's been brainwashed. I'm like, no, no. Oh, it is quite funny, some of the comments we get. Yeah, sometimes it is comical, um, but sometimes it isn't nice as well, because when you, when you read those things, sometimes it, it does hurt you. And yeah, I think, I think people on social media should have a bit more awareness because you don't realize the effect that some comments can have on people and luckily like we're super happy and quite strong in in, in that respect but yeah it doesn't matter i think but if you do nice. i think if you do troll some people on social media they might get really badly affected by it and it is a form of bullying so i think yeah just just treat others how you would like to be treated exactly that treat others how you'd like to be treated yeah, yeah be nice to one another Positive vibes mm. only. <laughs> Being nice goes a long way. Yeah, it does. You'll get further in life if you're nice. Exactly, exactly. Oh, this is the last one. Shall I say it? Do you want to say it? The last question? Yeah. Yeah, you go for it. What are your plans for the upcoming future and where do you see yourselves in five years? That's quite a... That's a good question to sort of end things on, I'd say. Mm -hmm. So, the upcoming future, I'd say, okay, these are a couple of secrets that We've kind of mentioned, but not really. So in the immediate future... <laughs> Secret, but I've mentioned it before. We've sort of mentioned it, but not in great oh, yeah. detail. For the immediate future, we have a clothing line that we're going to be launching just before Christmas, hopefully. We hope. But Fingers these crossed. things, you know, they kind of change. So exactly. it's looking like that. That's what we're like really, really working on and like working yeah. non-stop at, at the moment to try and get launched before Christmas. And the clothing line is called Ambiance Vibes. We'll put like a link down below to our Instagram page. Um, so you can sort of like check that out. Yeah. We're in the stage of like getting samples completed at the moment. So yeah, we need to get those like sorted out and signed off and then hopefully. It's very exciting. Hopefully the online store will be ready just before Christmas hopefully. for you guys. Fingers crossed. It's super exciting. Yeah, it's very isn't exciting. It? And another thing that we're trying to work on like right now is YouTube too because we were obviously yeah. doing really bad the last month, which is so unexpected. I know we, we haven't, we haven't posted a vlog in like a month and I feel so bad about that. We've just been super busy and I I do all the editing myself and everything and I just haven't found the I time know, to sort of sit down and time. edit a video and get it done. So we thought we'd get things going again, do a Q&A and- And we also have a new camera. Smash a vlog out once a week. We've got a new vlog set up now. We've got an awesome camera. We've got a mic with it as well. So hopefully everything is sounding and looking real good on this. Yeah. I'm kind of like, I'm sure you can gather by the previous vlogs that we've done, I'm quite a perfectionist in terms of the way that it's way that it's filmed and how the videography is and everything and yeah you want it to look its best I want it to look the best yeah so hopefully we've got some really good equipment now that can make it look that good and you guys can continue to watch our vlogs and hopefully enjoy them yeah let us know if the quality sounds good at the moment I'm hoping it does and looks good yeah like this video if it does yeah let us cool? know in the comments down below <laughs> okay no and then it was uh, oh. a five-year plan I'm gonna answer this Okay, you answer it. Okay, so Go I'm going to have four baby no, <laughs> oh No, we're going to have a dog 100% in five years. Yeah, we'll have um, a dog next year. Hopefully yeah. we have a dog next year, but it depends yep. on the potty training garden thing. But in five years, we definitely will. Yep. And, hmm, well, I mean, around that time, I'm looking for a... <laughs> Melissa sends me photos of all the time. So no, I don't. You'd, you'd want to be engaged next year if you. You know what way. I would do? I would be engaged now, but like be engaged <laughs> for like six years, just like drag out the engagement parties. Oh god. It's Haley Baldwin. She's really inspired me with that engagement ring. Here we go. I'm um, joking. No, I think for five years, I would want us to be really successful in our in yeah. our businesses. Well, yeah. In five years' time, we'd like a dog. Yeah. We'd also like. 
to be engaged. <laughs> I'd like to, I'd like to be able to buy our own house in five years. Okay, so dog, engagement, and new house. That's the five. That's the five-year plan. I think. Mm -hmm. In all seriousness, it's to like. In five years, I'd like to be really happy and really content in my life yeah, and, yeah, and yeah. where we are. I think that's that's the main thing. Just comfortable. Because yeah. if you're happy and you have your health, that's the, they're the most important thing. things in life. So, yeah, happy and health. Happy and healthy. That's it. That's the end of the Q&A. happiness and healthiness. <laughs> I hope you guys have enjoyed this q and I hope you've liked the answers to the questions. If you do like it, then do all those things. Like, subscribe, and continue to watch our videos. There's going to be loads more vlogs coming out in the future. I'm going to make a promise to you that there will be a vlog every single week. If there are any other questions that you guys have, yeah, comment below as well, and we'll hopefully get back to you. Yeah. But I hope you've liked this Q&A relationship vlog. And it's peace out from us. Peace out. See you later. Bye. <laughs>